Hello, welcome to a GibbsCAN demonstration from Midwest CAN Solutions. This demonstration is for mill feature using Feature Manager with attributes. Well, I have a part started and I've created three different work planes. We have the top, the left side, and the right side. This could be for multi-site part machining or rotary machining. I created some features already for the main pocket, the left pocket, the slots all at the top in the left side slot. To create a new feature, first you want to select the faces. So I'm going to grab all these faces by selecting all faces above and make sure that they do select all the faces. Click the first icon to create a new feature. We're going to give it a name. This is going to be pocket. right side I'll just call this and you can assign a color here for it. Next we're going to create another feature so I'm going to select all the faces now for this slot. faces are selected. We're going to create a new feature. We're going to call this slot right side. Once these features are selected, of course you can assign colors, but if I select them in here it grabs them. So you don't have to do any more selection of these faces. So when you have some pesty faces you have to select for cutting things, you can save them as a feature and just use it as a selection tool if you'd like. Now to add the attributes for coordinate system controls, the last little icon here is to create a new attribute. The description is going to be a CS column and it's an integer. It makes a column here on the right side. Now here's where we're going to assign this is CS1. We're assigning the CS's here. I got the side pocket here on the left. That's going to be CS2. All the slots at the top, that's CS1. This is the slots on the left, CS2. And these last two that we just created here are going to be three. Now once we have those already selected and built, we can machine it. I'm going to grab a process for this feature milling for an end mill that's going to pocket it out. Now in my process, let's review this first because it's all ready to go. But in the mill feature tab, I set the approach in Z to be incremental. This value is incremental from wherever the top surface is. At just this beginning level of using mill feature, you could use this on all your parts that you'd load in data and you'll never have to adjust your Z approach again. The retract will be the same as approach, but if you wish it to be absolute, then you could tell it numerically where would you want to exit when you're done with a cut. So you can mix and match and use different settings for all these automatic features. The top surface is going to be automatic which is going to load from the top of the faces and the bottom depth is going to be automatic from the bottom of the faces. And the machining coordinate system is going to be from the attribute which means the attribute column in my feature manager is going to be employed and uh, we don't have access to it to it right here because it's automatic now. Well, if we click the main pocket on the top and we have the side pocket on the left and the pocket on the right, you just say do it and it machines all three of these work planes and it's all machined out nicely. Now to do the slots, we could go grab a feature process for it that's saved for my slotting and just click these coordinate systems and say do it and all they're all going to be done. So what's nice with this uh, mill feature is that you don't have to type in depths no more. Everything's going to be incremental from the top. Everything's adjusted automatically. Um, it can really change the way you work and think, speed things up. Now you can use it for geometry as well as solids. This presentation is for solids and uh, hope this gets you a little introduction to how we can use the mill feature tab in the process now to automatically load in top surfaces and depths and control multi-site part machining or horizontal or rotary machining. 
so there's no more having to uh, type in data anymore. Um, anyways, uh, this kind of concludes a simple little presentation for mill feature and feature manager with attributes. Hope you enjoyed the little presentation. Bye now and have a nice day.